Hi there Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this is your July 15th through the 31st love reading. Uh, thank you to all the subscribers, likes, comments, and watchers. I really appreciate all your support. Um, I'm sorry you didn't get to see me shuffling the cards. I, I started it, I laid it out, and then I got I had an interruption, so I decided to start it over. Um, so, I really hadn't started really that much anyway. So, here we go. Um, it looks like up here you have to release some burdens. This is around the 15th, 16th. Um, you need to release some burdens. It's time to let something go. And it's something that you have been thinking about for a while. It's not something that you haven't considered. It might be regarding another person, an earth sign. It's something that you have really, you know, you've thought about. Because, you know, do I, am I going to let this go or not? Um, and I think that you might be releasing something, okay, something that's been holding you back. And it's something that you thought about. It's not like it was an impulsive decision or anything. Um, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Cancer, or Virgo. <laughs> cancer! Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo person. Um, you know, I think it's this up here, this King of uh, Swords, is you taking back your own power, finally deciding to make a decision, you know, getting the clarity that you need and finally saying, you know what, I'm done it's time for me to make a decision. We have it twice right next to this person. Okay. And it's about releasing. So I think it's that you're finally about to say, you know what, I'm cutting this cord. It's final. I'm done. Okay. Um, this is your uh, awakening, you know, where it comes to you and you finally, finally decide and you decide that you're really going to move away from it, that you're just not even going to do it anymore. You're just done. Done. You're moving away. All right. Um, perhaps there's a new offer of love, or you know, I this is an uh, this is an offer of love. He brings uh, emotions. He brings um, love. Okay, and here you are. Here you are. Perhaps you, you know, you're on the search for love. <laughs> yeah, I think you're on the search for love. You finally had a breakthrough. You know, you finally had a breakthrough. You're going to let this go. Whatever betrayal or tension there was in the past, I think you're going to let it go and be like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm, it's over with. I'm going to let go of this tension and I'm going to move forward. In the meantime, you've been taking the escape route. Okay, and I think you're going to continue to escape. I don't think, I mean, it's by escape, I think there's like drugs and alcohol or some kind of addictions, you know, to get through, you know, this decision that you've had to make or that you're going to make. I think that there's been some kind of overindulgence, perhaps. Um, maybe not even an overindulgence, but some kind of escapism, all right? Um... You're definitely going to, you're definitely, you're going to get the clarity. You're going to have an epiphany. There's no doubt about it. You're going to have an epiphany that moves you in another direction. Could be towards a Sagittarius, all right? It, it could be. Um, it looks like you're going to make this final decision and to move away from something, to let something go for good. You're going to let something go for good with this right here, all right? You are. You are. Um, it could be with a Libra, it could be with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It could be you might let this somebody go to be with one or the other. You know what I mean? That, you know, you, you're choosing one or the over the other. That could be it. Um, but you're finally going to get the clarity that you need to make that decision. That's what's going to happen in these next two weeks. That's what I see. Because you are looking for love. Okay, you're looking for love. Once you make that decision, once you make that decision to move away from this situation for good, for good, things start to happen fast, okay? Uh, uh, a quicker energy comes in and it, it might be a little um, chaotic at first, you know, it might be 
things things are going to happen real fast. It might even push you towards an, an earth sign, another earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and a new love. Okay? Or it might give you the opportunity to open up to this person. Before, it, there it, you couldn't because there was conflicts. Maybe there's addictions holding holding the relationship back. There's conflicts within within a relationship. Down towards the end of the month, it looks like you're going to be following your intuition and listening to your dreams. It looks like you're going to be having a lot of dreams that are kind of like deja vu, but they're not deja vu because, it, well, it is deja vu. It is deja vu, but it's it's me. It's more than that. Okay, your intuit. You already know your intuition is at the top of the list. Okay, so you already know what's happening at all times. You do. There's there's no second guessing. You're you're pretty. Um, intuitive um, by the end of the month it's gonna be at an all-time high and it, it you're probably gonna learn something about a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo man or woman woman that could involve a new welling of emotion a new love for this person it could you know um, you are seeing the situation completely clearly, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You are moving away from conflict completely, for real, finally, done, moving away. You know, and to get through that, there may be a little bit of drugs or alcohol or something involved. There might be. But you're taking a stand and it's, it's, you are, you are, you're taking a stand. This is you, Knight of Cups, emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, falling in love or wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions, an invitation to a, so a social event. It, definitely a new love could be coming into your life. That might be why you're making a decision to let something go because you're starting to fall for somebody. be some romance okay I see some romance and love it's serious Pashy, Pashy. see when I do these readings I can't talk we've already discussed this passionate passionate I try to speak too fast oh my god it's funny twice this is big energy for you when it comes out twice okay Listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. That's what the card says. This card means clearly having the right thinking, okay? Um, clearly following your intuition. The messages are coming loud and clear. That's what it says, and you have it twice. Because you have so many um, major cards here, this is absolutely divinely guided okay it's destiny this is part of your life path it is it's a major time in your life where the universe is working with you with all these major cards here you're definitely seeing a, a situation completely clearly so if you had any doubts, which I don't, don't believe you had many, um, rest assured that you are seeing the situation clearly. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Your intuition is right on. And I think you're letting something go. And I think new love is coming. 
Oh my gosh, we have this. It's got to be the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo woman or man that this new love is. Because look at you guys are connected and it's everywhere. You know, and underneath here we have it again. So it's 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 a water earth situation here. Um, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay, so this queen of earth, she's very grounded. She's motherly, materialistic. It's a he or a she. Um, nurturing. It will take care of you to the their fullest ability. Okay. Um, and there's a chance for a new loving connection with this person. All right, a new loving connection that could happen rather quickly once you finally make a decision. Follow your intuition. Could be any other sign because each and every one of us can take on any of the other signs energies at any time okay I feel it very prominently that it's an earth sign it's it's a very very good um, chance that it is an earth sign but it, we all I mean we all have different aspects in our charts okay so that really could be any sign I see that you need to make a final decision though Ooh, this is where you're cutting and you're finally making a choice perhaps to leave somebody behind for good. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. That's right up here. Could be mentally, could be physically. It could be if you're if you are mentally connected to mentally connected to somebody same thing the time apart from your partners on the horizon if you are still attached to the last person that you were with if you are separated then you're not really separated you have to be mentally and physically separated that's what you need to let go Mm, definitely absolutely I see it addictions are affecting your romantic life there's no doubt about it I already talked to you about that so I really don't need to go any further I don't I think that that's your escape route and addictions aren't just drugs just so you know but in most cases they are to me that's my opinion somebody said addiction I immediately think drugs and alcohol well, there's food, too, you know, and stuff like that, and smoking, but mainly, you know, what that's what people think. Ah. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing. Period. There's always some issues that need to be healed with your parents. And ev every single person in the whole wide world has something that needs to be healed with their parents. Whether it be little or be big. Okay? There's always regrets and parents, you know... It's one day at a time and we all fuck up so there's something that needs to be healed hmm this is the best one yet absolutely
It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Open your heart. Okay? Really, really, really open your heart. And the bigger you open your heart, the more it's going to come in. All right? When you open your heart, you give love. You know that anyway. I don't need to tell you that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, ah, oh. <laughs> Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is the truth. Sometimes you get stuck. That's what's right over this escapism right here. Absolutely. And this codependency, yeah, perfect. Stay optimistic about your love life. Pit positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Sometimes you go into a depression. And when you do that, it's that what does that do for you? Let's go escape. <laughs> Stay optimistic about your love life. Think positive, okay? If you've had to let somebody go, you know, when one door closes, another door opens. Think positive. 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 You know what? I don't. There's no need to go any further. Nope. You know, I don't, I don't feel the need to go any further. I feel like this is it. You need to let somebody go and open your heart to somebody else. You know what I mean? Open your heart. And I think that the separation, a lot of it will just be a mental separation. You know, you're finally going to get the clarity that you need. So, this is what I have for you. I don't I don't feel the need to go any further. I think this this next 2 weeks is is about really making a final decision and perhaps, you know, allowing a new love to even come near you. Okay? That's, that's as good as it gets. You know, I think that there's a chance that a new love could come in, but you need to stay optimistic about, about it and, and use your clear mind when you get it to, to make whatever final decision that you need to make, okay? Um, either way, your intuition knows what you have to do. Don't, don't second guess it. Not for a second Thank you for watching.